Welcome friends, in this tutorial we will learn, how to convert the UEFI BIOS to, legacy BIOS, without any data loss, by using this guide your data is not formatted, so watch the complete guide, and follow every steps carefully. To check your system BIOS as UEFI, or legacy, go to the search, and type, information, in search box. Now click on open. Now the system information, window will open, like this. As you can see here, the BIOS mode is, UEFI. Now, close this windows, and follow the next steps. As honest with you, for your satisfaction, here I am showing my system partitions, as well as personal data partitions. So you will satisfied, your data will not formatted. Now our tutorial is begins. Let's get started. Now right click on, this PC. Now, click on properties. Now in windows will appear on your system screen. Now, click on advanced system settings. Now, and window will open. Now, go to the startup, and recovery section. Now click on settings. Now a startup and recovery window is open. Now, go to the System Failure section. Now, untick on the, Automatically Restart. Now, click on OK. Now, again click on OK. And follow the next steps, open the Telegram app in your PC or smartphone. Now search for the My Channel in Telegram. Now, find and download the, Isis Partition Master. It is in RAR format, so extract it. After extracting, open the folder. Now, install the Isis Partition Master. Now the installer is opened. Now tick on the, Continue Installation. Now, click on Next. Now, again click on Next. Now, again click on next. Now the installation is started. It will take some time for the installation. Now, the partition master is installed successfully. Now, open the partition master. Please keep in mind, here select the disk, where the C drive is installed. As you can see here, in my case the C drive is installed on the disk 0. Now, right click on the disk 0. Now, click on convert to MBR. Now, wait till it's completed. Now, click on the, complete operation. Which is on the top left side. Now a new windows will open like this. Now click on apply. Now, an warning message box will appear, which is saying, all changes will be applied after rebooting the system. Now click on yes. Now the system is restarting, so please be patient, don't press any key, I am not fast forwarding any steps, so please watch the complete guide, otherwise you will mess up with things, and your data will be lost. Now the system is booting. Please be patient. As you can see here, Isis Partition Master is performing some task, so don't press any key. Now the operation is started. So wait for the all task to be completed. As you can see here, the task is 100% completed. Now press the enter key, to restart the system. Now the system is rebooting again. So please be patient.
As you can see, our system is booting, so, it will take some time. Remember, don't press any key. Now, again Isis Partition Master is performing some operation, so please wait. Now, again system is restarting. As you can see here, our boot logo is changed to Windows logo. Now the system is booted successfully. As you can see here, my data is still available here. To check the status of your BIOS, go to the search and type information in search box. Now, open it. As you can see here, the BIOS mode is converted legacy. So friends, if this guide has becomes helpful for you, then hit the like and share button, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.